you're a late bloomer and you don't even know it yet, you could be 18, 24, hell, even 30, and you probably think, man, beards don't really do anything to increase my looks or attractiveness. You probably just gave up on the whole beard thing altogether. We're gonna do a little bit of a case study today. I'm gonna be showing you some examples of just putting the razor down, chilling out, and letting time and genetics do what they finna do. I actually have a bonus example for you guys as well in this video. I don't wanna spoil it and get right into example number one. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to the subscriber, the loyal subscriber who did inspire this video, Pablito Rivera. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but here we go. I'm a late bloomer, so as a teenager, I'd be so jealous of my dad for having a beautiful beard. When I finally turned 22, it sprouted. I mean, just grew exactly like my dad. I grew my beard long and enjoyed that wink and that nod for men and women, but at the age of 25, I learned how to style and experiment. Excellent comment, thank you Pablito. And that segues perfectly into example number one. You heard okay? Notice you've copied my beard. Good old Captain America. Ah, I guess for the purposes of this video, we can call him by his government name, Chris Evans. Now we saw Cap in the early Marvel Universe days. You know, he got a little squeaky clean, clean cut, you know, Boy Scout look. And then a light bulb went off. Right before he went against off against Thanos, he said, you know what, let me grow out this beard and look 10 times more badass. I mean, come on, let's, let's really think about it for a second. If Captain America was here in 2022, right? and he was on either Tinder or Bumble, would he get more matches with this look or with this look? So with Cap being late to the beard party, who else you got on the list, Hef? Well, example number two is all-star NBA guard James Harden. Now, James Harden was like 25, when he started the whole big, biking, bushy beard look. Now, ironically, prior to that, he had some little chin strap struggle thing going on. And it's, it's just ironic because you fast forward a couple years, his whole brand, his whole name is associated with his beard. So just like Pablito, the subscriber who left the original comment, James Harden, in his mid 20s just uh, elevated to a, a whole new beard face that he probably had no idea that he had a couple years prior to that so you guys tell me in the comments do you think james harden is loving life more pre big viking beard or now you let me know i think you guys know the answer so now you're probably asking hef who is number three on this list now, if I was smart, I would play his music right now, kind of cue him up. But, you know, we on YouTube, and I ain't trying to get no copyright strike. So, the next person on our list for our examples is Drizzy Drake. We in 2022, so this year, Drake's going to be, I don't even know, what, 36? So, let's rewind 10 years. Let's go back to 2012, where Drake is in his, like, mid-20s. Let me throw up some pictures or a picture of Drake and his facial hair status right at that point. Now this picture speaks for itself, so I don't even have to add no commentary to this. <laughs> now, if we just fast forward four years from this mark to 2016, where my man just hit 30, he just took his whole beard game to another level. And now look, like, his beard is like his, literally his trademark. 
my man hit 30 and that's when he just discovered all everything about the whole beard game so like i said in the beginning of the video 18 24 30 35 39 you never really out the game you could just be a late bloomer and you just don't know it yet don't count yourself out the game just yet now i did promise you guys a bonus example um what did i say earlier in the video right that sometimes time and genetics they they don't want to play nice right so now you can find yourself in your 30s or 40s you can't grow that beard but you know what it's time to take matters into your own hands so if you've been a man who's been about your paper collecting your coins you financially secure you turn 42 you can do whatever the heck you want to do which is exactly what this person did only the greatest boxer of all time floyd money mayweather so back in 2020 at 42 years old my man said screw the ball head Screw the little struggle beard. We gonna, we gonna give you this beard right now. We gonna give you this beard and this hairline. And why? Because I can do it. Because I can afford it. I built myself up. I, I stacked my paper. I'm in my 40s. I, I got so much money, I don't even know what to do with it. I'm gonna give myself a big ass beard and a strong, strong hairline. Now, fellas, if you enjoyed the video, because to be honest, I enjoyed making it, feel free to give a brother a like. Show me some love, all right? So until next time, guys, 